man, we are getting it. I mean, it's got to be like 50 mile an hour wind just now. We had gusts at like, that just feels like a, a hurricane. Alright guys, we're taking a look at the Bicold factory, wherever that may be, and yeah, so this is just a look at how they actually produce the uh, mirrors. So you can see people working on the mirrors here, you can see them uh, assembling, um, creating a little bar that the mirrors hang on and uh, then the thermal, the dehumidify thing that's on the inside there, you can see it part of this video. You can see I'm putting the frames on the mirrors too, doing all the assembly on the mirrors. Yeah, so I just thought it was kind of a cool little video to put at the front to, so you guys could see more about Bicold and the way that they uh, create these mirrors. So have a look at this video and then we'll get right into the product. Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's Wednesday, got an update on my instrument cluster is coming in today from, uh, back from German, Germany or Switzerland or wherever it is. Um, I guess if you guys are gonna have to see me, I'm gonna have to put a hat on here so I don't look ridiculous. Hair's all messed up. All right, so we're taking a look today at the smart LED Wi-Fi mirror. Now, I wish that I would have saved the pictures of this being installed, but I deleted them a couple of days ago. I had some really good install pictures of what I did. Now, let's take a look at this and see how you install it, some of the features, and whether or not I feel like this was worth the money. So these guys were fairly expensive. I paid, I believe, over $500 for both. There will be a link down in the description for these. There are different brands. I'm going to link the brand that I used. And yes, I know it's overkill um, to have these on both mirrors, but I wanted these things to match. Now. What came out of here was just a regular wooden framed mirror that I actually created myself. I actually made it. Um, I framed it up and everything. Now, this whole entire vanity, I wish that I had done a, a, a video on the replacement. That was quite a project for me because the old vanity was floating and I really wanted a floating vanity so I could underlight it like that. However, I looked and looked and looked and I could not find anything suitable um, the other issue doing this vanity was that this trim had to come out the vanity is too wide to fit through the space with the trim on so i removed the trim and slid the vanity in there and uh, this vanity came from california very very heavy and very well packed very well made solid wood vanity with uh 
with also um, soft closed drawers. And so, really, really nice. I don't know why my computer's saying I have a meeting at five in the morning. I doubt that that's true. Um, I'm gonna show you this mirror next, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back taking a look at the smart Wi-Fi LED mirror. Now let's make one thing clear on this guy here. This does not come with these color LED strips. So this does not come with those. That is an addition that I did. And if you look back there, we might be able to see, yeah, you can kind of see what I did back there. So. Let's turn those off and get a look at what this looks like without my addition of the smart Govi RGBIC strips. Alexa, turn off the mirrors. Okay. Okay, so these lights are my own. So notice here, there's no, no light on here. So these mirrors actually come with this. Okay. Now, so that is the backlighting that is supplied with the mirror, which is actually pretty dang cool, okay? It looks awesome. Let me turn off the regular lights here. So these guys look like this right out of the box. And that is backlit with a white LED strip. It is dimmable. You can change the color temperature. It's on warm right now, because I just like the way warm looks and it matches my warm LEDs in the ceiling and my warm smart LED bulbs there, which I don't even use the smart part of them. I just use the switch on those because I have a smart switch. So I was really wanting more out of these guys. So I added the Govi RGB IC smart LED strip to the back of each mirror. Now what I did was I hot glued that and you're not going to be able to see it back there I don't think but except I wish I would have taken more pictures but I didn't I don't have pictures of that but I hot glued um, I hot glued it all to the back of the mirror, the new LED strip around. You can see the current LED strip right there. It kind of faces the side. Well, the Govi strip is actually on the inside of that frame just next to it. There's also enough room back there. It's deep enough so that the Govi controls actually fit too. Now, if you look here, there is the mirror on off switch and that is also how you change the color temperature on the mirror there's a switch right there it's convenient because you can still get to it from behind the mirror right there and that's how you change the color temperature they also have a dehumidify function you just by holding down the button you can dim and then change to dehumidify and that's how you operate that part of it. Now, would you like to see it with the LEDs back on? Because that's easy. Alexa, turn on the mirrors. Okay. Right, so that is with both the Govi and the backlight. And it actually looks kind of freaking cool to me. I never, I've never really run it like that, but it kind of looks awesome. Now, let's talk a little bit about the smart part of the mirror. So these mirrors are smart. They are connected to Wi-Fi, as you can see right there. Now, how does this work? Well, this has an app that comes with it, or it's actually a universal app that a lot of different mirrors use, and that's called Wi-Fi Clock. So what you do is, I think that it uses Bluetooth initially to set up, 
and then it connects to Wi-Fi and you can change the settings on the mirror so that you can do metric or standard. And that's where you put your location in. And so now the mirror knows that we are in Jacksonville, Florida, and it knows that outside it's 82% humidity, 37 degrees. That's the low and the high, I believe. Yeah, uh, well, it's supposed to be the low and the high for today, but um, obviously we're at 37 right now. This side shows you your indoor humidity and then your indoor temperature. So I'm going to throw up a screenshot now of the Wi-Fi clock app. I'm also going to throw up a screenshot of these actual mirrors on Amazon. I will link this in the description. Now let's talk a little bit about what it's going to take for you to complete this project. Unless you invite me over and we do that together. So, I always wanted lit, you know, LED lit mirrors. When I took off this vanity, when I took off the old vanity in order to, let me get some lights going in here again. When I removed the old vanity in order to put the new vanity in, I had a really good opportunity there to do some electrical. Now, the difficulty with that being that this is an exterior wall, the outside of this, that is the outside of the house. You need to be aware that when you start working on exterior walls, you might have fire breaks, which is going to make running wiring difficult because they go across this way. Interior walls like these in the closet right here or this side wall here, super easy. They're, they're completely hollow. so usually so you can run wiring really easy so I had this whole entire wall clear I already had a plug let's take a look at that under so see I already have a plug that I put in years ago to do LED lighting underneath I took that opportunity to run wire up the wall and over to the center behind this mirror there is a literally a hole and if we can get back there maybe you almost see it there's a hole back there below that bar or above it i'm not sure which that is where the wiring came up from the receptacle down there now i added another receptacle and it's actually behind there so there's two receptacles now and that is where the power goes to the mirrors so those run up the wall now yes there was tile there already <clears throat> I actually used a tile bit to drill through the tile and then I broke the tile with a hammer. It's that simple. <laughs> you know, it's going to be covered forever. Um, there will probably never be anything but mirrors over that, so I'm not too concerned about it. So I broke a hole in the tile and then I, so these mirrors you can see clearly right here, they mount um, with screws. <clears throat> So that was another challenge there. So how did I do that? Well, I used my tile uh, bit, my uh, masonry bit. It's designed to cut through tile or stone. I used really good drywall inserts. They're the ones that have a strap. You push them into the wall and then you pull the strap and the strap breaks off. They're really, really strong. I used those with some nice big screws to hang that bar right there. I don't know if you can see it, but that's how you mount the mirrors. The difficult part of that you're going to find very quickly is getting the mirrors level. 
completely even, completely level, completely the same exact space from edge to edge, the same exact distance apart. Very hard. One mistake and you have drilled through your tile and then you have to either move up or down because you'll already have a hole and it'll be the wrong hole. And the most you can hope for is that if they're slightly off, you can actually manually take your hand and bend the mirror and the screw might move a little bit and allow you to level. But I highly recommend a laser level for this. That's what I use. Laser levels are awesome. I will put a link in the description to one for you. And the final piece of this whole bathroom was, and this is not part of the mirrors, but I just wanted to show you guys anyway. This is an Echo Show 5. Now I want you to notice, no wire, no wire, no wire, no wire anywhere to be seen. Now this is my favorite part of what I did with these mirrors. This Echo Show 5 used to be plugged in here, okay? So I ran the wire literally um, behind the shelf and through the mirror over here and we had a plug right here. So it literally came out and plugged in right here. Well, that's not good enough. That is not acceptable. That um, worked for a little bit, but I had the opportunity. And so I made this shelf by hand. So this is just two pieces of wood. Those wood are then screwed to each other in the back there with flat screws. So I drilled the bottom shelf out, screwed in the back part to it with a flat screw. And then I caulked this. Well, actually, let's, let's, let's back up a little bit. When I put that receptacle in down there, that new receptacle, I took the existing Echo Show power plug, plugged it into that receptacle, drilled a hole in the tile with my tile saw, and then I used a coat hanger to fish this wire up through the wall. That is plugged into the new receptacle along with these mirrors. Okay, that's how I did that. Then I drilled a hole in the back of this wood, which it already had actually. I pushed the power plug through the back of the wood just enough so it's protruding just this much. Like it's just the power part of the plug sticking through the back of this wooden shelf. You take the Echo Show 5 and you push it onto the power plug. The power plug does not move because it's very tight. I made sure when I drilled the hole, I drilled it just enough where it would barely go through and forced the plug through the hole so it was very tight. So that's how you plug it in. You just push the Echo Show 5 onto it. It's very clean. It's a floating shelf. I then took the shelf, hot glued it to the wall. Just, just hot glued it long enough so it would stay. And then, um, actually, um, I did hot glue and caulk on the back of this to glue it to the wall. So I put a bunch of hot glue, a bunch of caulk, pushed it onto the wall, the hot glue held it up, and then once the caulk dried, this thing is not going anywhere. This is a very light, light device. Now if I ever want to upgrade, I can probably do an 8 um, in the same spot, an 8 might fit. I have one in my bedroom, so if I ever want to do that, but the 10, the 5 actually looks, looks perfect right there. It came out really good. So yeah, so these are Wi-Fi smart mirrors. Time, temperature, they actually show you if it's sunny or raining or cloudy. And these are the brand Bicol, B-Y-E-C-O-L-D. It's kind of see it right there. Yes, I do think these come off. I haven't tried to take the sticker off, but I believe they said they come off and yes they have to put those on there Amazon forces them to do that I asked that question why would you do that oh another thing you're probably wondering why they're both on the left side why not do 
one on the left and one on the right. Well, I tried to get them to custom make one even though they said they could. They could not custom create one with opposing positions or both in the center, like one here and one here. So that's just the way that is. So if you guys have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to ask. And by all means, please click through my links on the, on the description because I do make a tiny bit of money for my time and actually I'm just buying equipment to make videos. I'm not profiting. I don't have monetization because I don't have a thousand subscribers yet. So I'm working on that hard. I'm gonna do a bunch of content reviews. I wanna do car stuff. And later on today, we should be able to take a look at my instrument cluster reinstall. So we'll have something on that. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. All right, guys, taking a look at the Wi-Fi clock app for the smart mirror. Just wanted to go through this um, real quick with you guys at the end of the video here. But, um, or I might just drop this in right where we were talking about it. But basically here you can see both of the mirrors here. And if you click on the mirror, you got your basic settings here. So you can change the clock format, um, make it beep when you press the buttons. You can change the month to day format and make the degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. And then you can change, um, I guess, the brightness to full normally. Or you can let it, I guess it can come on at a different brightness. Um, I don't have any alarm set on the mirrors. That's how you set an alarms. Here's where you set where you are. So that's how you, it knows the weather. Um, not sure what sleep mode is. Um, here's your firmware version. And it looks like that the devices are on the latest firmware and then you can remove your devices here. But yeah, you see you can choose between each mirror here and you can see one of them thinks that the humidity is 24% and the other one thinks it's 25. That has a lot to do with the position where it is in the house. And then if we go to the little menu screen, shows you the software version and all that. So this is how you configure the smart mirrors.